Welcome to this Java Break with Basis. Today's topic is integrating PDF output into your application software. My name is Nico Spence. I'm the Chairman and CEO of Basis International, and I'm joined today by Paul Yeomans, our Vertical Market Program Manager. Let's have a look at the topics that we'll be covering. The thrust of today's session is all about output. And in specifically, we're going to look at the portable document file output capabilities of the basis programming language set. We're going to look at the three ways in which you can generate PDF output. We're calling it the PDF triple play. The first one is the newest one. It's one that we've released in BBJ 10. That is the capability of sysprint to output reports directly to PDF. Secondly, we'll review the BBJ form capabilities of creating PDF output of complex forms that were written with the BBJ form object within BBJ code. And lastly, we'll remind you of the BB Jasper capabilities of saving your Jasper generated reports, perhaps by the iReport WYSIWYG report writer, how you can save those in PDF format. And then lastly, we'll have a look at PDF in action. We'll have a look at it in action in a couple of ways. Firstly, we'll have a look at the Barista RAD tool, how Barista has within its product set, within its utility set, we have the Dockout capability that generates PDF output utilizing the BBJ form object. And then secondly, we'll look at some other aspects uh, used by add-on software by Barista, where we also feature the capabilities of using the BB Jasper creation of PDF output. So firstly, sysprint to PDF. What's it all about? What do you need to do? You can print to PDF without any change to code. And you'll hear me repeat that a couple of times because that's the magic. All we have to do is to add to the print file alias the option to do PDF with the file specification. Obviously, you know you can prompt for that within your application code. And you can save time while delivering this PDF functionality without having to change a single line of your legacy code. So your simple print at statements will now be directed via sysprint to a PDF file. And that saves you time by allowing you to archive your files without having to print hundreds of pages of reports perhaps. While there's a need for you to have that stored, you can store, store it electronically rather than having to print it out some green aspects to your application that you can bring into place, as well as giving you the ability to perhaps search through that PDF output. So where can you utilize sysprint with the PDF output capabilities? You can use it in KUI, character-based apps, GUI, and SysGUI. So the old reliable sysprint will work in every environment. You can get print preview in KUI and SysGUI. Sysprint reports are output by default to PDF, in the browser user interface. So let's have a look at an example of utilizing sysprint to generate PDF output in an old-fashioned print at type report. Right, let's have a look at sysprint to PDF in action. I have a little demo program that I'm going to look at, which is called Ledger of Accounts, and that displays the Ledger of Accounts using both iReport and also shows the same report built from a data bound grid and uses the standard print at type statements to output to PDF. So if you look at the BB Jasper viewer control, that gives us the functionality that we would expect from BB Jasper. So that's an iReport inside of BB Jasper. But next to it, we just have this data bound grid functionality. Very simple, presenting all the ledger accounts in a simple grid. Let's firstly go back to the BB Jasper Viewer Control, the iReport generated report, and I'm going to save this off and then we'll call it up and view the contents in the PDF. All right, let me save it as ledger.pdf underscore PDF. I'll replace the existing one that I have, and then let's have a look at the contents of that PDF file. So I saved it under my name. And there it is, as you might expect, very pleasing to the eye, iReport generated report. And let's see that same one being generated utilizing the sysprint functionality. So from the data bound grid, I have a menu option here to export to PDF. 
And I'm going to select the sysprint to PDF option, overriding that existing file. And there it is. It's generated a nice sysprint report for me. Very simple, very clean. As you would expect, this is the kind of output that would have been originally destined for a printer. Let's have a look at that in the IDE. Most programs from the launch dock, if you right-click on them, will launch the IDE and then load up the program. So there's the source code that we have for the program. Let's uh, scroll down and have a look at the pertinent code that does the printing. And you'll see it's a very simple little routine that we have here that does the printing. So it's the print at column number. And then early on we have on the open we use the mode to pass the PDF file name and the option that it'll print or create output to PDF rather than printing to a system printer. So there it is. Let's get back to our presentation. The second of our PDF triple play options is to look at the BBJ form output. That's something that's been around for several years from BASIS and that delivers a higher level API, the ability to abstract the creation of the output, the form output, and give you the ability to mix and match graphics with text, with boxes and squares, etc. It frees the developer from that character by character form layout option. It kerns text to prevent monospace artifacts. It wraps text inside the window, utilizing HTML type capabilities. And it creates a PDF in one line of code, utilizing the BBJ API, get BBJ PDF form, and passing the name of the form that will be generated. Let's look at a more modern usage of our BBJ form object. If we're printing in the BUI, as we mentioned earlier, the sysprint output by default will go to a PDF, but you could also be generating PB BBJ form type generated output to a PDF file. So you have the option to preview the invoice from within a BUI app, or you could go directly to printing to PDF. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. Right, so let's have a look at buoy printing. I've got a Windows 7 box here, and if you've done what I've done, which is to download the, check the box for the demos when you downloaded the basis product. If you go to the basis install under BBJ and under demos and run launch doc, we'll have an example of that available. So checking on language interpreter, and you'll see one that says buoy demos. I want to go and run the print invoice, demonstrating printing in BUI. So here we have an invoice form generated by Business Basic Code. I think I'm using App Builder code here. Let's have a look at previewing this invoice, and that's going to execute some BBJ code that includes the form object. So the output is loaded up into a PDF file, which I can view inside of this window. The other choice I might have is to print it. Select that. And then my choices are to output this to a printer from the PDF. Simple, quick and easy. So we'd encourage you to go and have a look at some of that source code and see it in action. The last of our PDF triple plays is Basis's BB Jasper utility. Let's first talk about some background to that utility. Background is that we have Jasper Reports, which is a open source Java-based industry standard reporting format that is the world's most powerful and widely used open source Java reporting library. We can write to a screen, to a printer, output to PDF, Excel, HTML, XML, and comma-separated values from a Jasper report. It's used by Java applications to generate dynamic content. And iReport is the open source standalone WYSIWYG report designer designed for Jasper reports. So cross-platform, platform independent tool that can be used to generate your reports, similar to Crystal Reports, and you can access your BBJ data either via SQL statements or via the store procedure syntax, which can then obviously in turn call standard read record business basic code that can generate the data for your report. It greatly speeds up the task of report design for Jasper Reports, and you can create and preview SQL-based reports from within iReport. 
So Basis' BB Jasper is a utility that integrates the iReport with existing BBJ applications. BB Jasper is the API that creates a PDF with one line of code. You can simply invoke the export to PDF method on the report object and define the name of the output report from within the BB Jasper API. So BB Jasper wraps that report, presents it to you on screen within a BBJ window, but also gives you the ability to output to PDF. And it unleashes the full power of Jasper reports within your Business Basic application. For more information about the BB Jasper utility and the iReport open source report writing tool, have a look at the Advantage Magazine article, Jazz Up Your Applications, Seamlessly Embed Jasper Reports, or have a look at a previous Java break, Painless Report Writing. I think you'll find a wealth of information that will set you down the right path of being able to utilize third-party WYSIWYG report writing tools with basis data, be it normalized data via SQL or non-normalized data that might be sourced via a store procedure. We mentioned in our marketing communiques to you that we could potentially run some of these PDF triple plays from Visual Pro 5 or Pro 5. So which of them can you run and how would you run them? Well, BBJ programs can be X-called from Pro 5 or Visual Pro 5. That's a new verb we added in BBJ, rather in Pro 5 and Visual Pro 5 10 that allows you to X-call BBJ server and execute a BBJ program on the desktop or on the server. So the considerations that you should bear in mind are that if you have a user interface that's required, so something like an iReport to be displayed on the desktop, you're going to need BBJ on the desktop. But you can invoke that from Visual Pro 5 on that same desktop. If you have no user interface, you can execute on the server from dumb terminals. So the sysprint to PDF option is a perfect example of something that could be X-called from Pro 5 code. And of course, given that there's no UI, that code is 99.99% compatible with BBJ, you'd be very surprised if you find any of that printer output code that couldn't run unchanged in the BBJ session on the same server. So let's look at an example of that in action. So let's fire up our Windows 7 session again. And I'm going to run the Basis BBJ demos. And if I select Launch Dock, I'm going to go into the Language Interpreter, and they have an option here for X-Call. And we have three examples of X-Call in action. One mimics a green screen terminal consuming a web service, package tracking web service, which would mean that all the BBJ code is server side. And the two other examples are good PDF type reporting examples. So I'm running Visual Pro 5, and from this I'm going to select a report, and this is going to X-Call a BBJ report. This one is being generated from iReport, so I can do my drill downs. And I have the option here to print this or save this as PDF. And I can do further drill downs. All of this, of course, running in BBJ. And you'll see the BBJ icon on the corner. But that's been launched from a Visual Pro 5 session and passing the requisite information or sharing the same data files. And of course, there are multiple ways of sharing the same data files between the two systems sharing access to the same data files. The other example is one of generating a rebate report, PDF rebate report. Again, this rebate generator is running in Visual Pro 5, as we see in the corner here. But the, as soon as I hit generate, it's going to pass that information across. And I can save it as a PDF on disk. Let me overwrite the existing one. That will launch it into a multimedia viewer, viewing the resultant PDF. And here's my PDF with the contents of a data file that is or of a report that's been generated using the BBJ form object. Okay, let's get back to the presentation. At this stage, let me hand over to Paul Yeomans to give you some practical examples of PDF in action. Thanks, Nico. Let's have a look at PDF in action. Basis's RAD tool, Barista, leverages BBJ form. And a real world example is add on software by Barista written in Barista, so of course it uses BBJ form and includes the use of BB Jasper. It has three output modes. Dockout, which is a Barista utility and uses BBJ form. Pure BBJ form provides for granular control for handcrafted code-based reports. 
This replaces the requirement for pre-printed forms. And finally, iReport. iReport works with Jasper Report, which is then rendered by the BB Jasper utility. A powerful feature of the Barista tool is Dockout. The Dockout utility is written in BBJ and using BBJ form takes data sets and passes them on to Dockout, which handles display and the creation of the PDFs. Dockout report programs use a series of vectors and string arrays to store all of the output data for a report rather than printing lines directly to a printer or file. So the program doesn't actually print, but simply adds the necessary vectors and string arrays and passes them to, to the Dockout utility for output options. Developers can easily convert any report that currently prints in a well-defined tabular format to use Dockout. We have an excellent Dockout tutorial on the BASIS web found under Solutions, Training and Tutorials. In addition to PDF, you get these Dockout selections as well, very quickly and very easily. Within local output types, you can print to the system printer, XML, comma separated, and tab delimited text. We've got the ability to email the output in a variety of attachment formats, and you may fax. We also provided a Google Doc interface to save reports in Google Docs. From add-on software, here's an example of a standard columnar report type. This uses BBJ form in the utility. Here's an example of BBJ forms in providing granular control, and it's used here for an accounts receivable statements output. Here's a slightly fancier handcrafted BBJ form example. In this case, a sales order pick list. Again, within add-on software, integrated into Barista, here's an example of BB Jasper consuming an iReport designed vendor detail report. From the add-on software purchase order module, here's a purchase calendar. For this, we used an SQL call to a stored procedure with a standard read record syntax and then passed it to iReport. Thanks, Paul. Let's summarize what we've covered in today's Java break. We looked at Basis's PDF Triple Play. First amongst those is the latest capability of outputting your application data to PDF format, and that is the one that takes the least amount of effort on your part. SysPrint's new capability of saving reports directly to PDF can save you a tremendous amount of time. Generating reports directly from older legacy type programs that do print at column number type statements. We've reviewed the BBJ form object where we can replace the need to purchase pre-printed stationery. We can generate those complex forms with BBJ code and generate PDFs as part of the options of your output. We've also reviewed the BB Jasper basis utility that allows you to save the open source Jasper report formats in PDF format. And then lastly, Paul's taken us through some examples of PDF in action. We've looked at Basis's rapid application development tool, Barista, and seen how Barista utilizes the BBJ form object to provide the Dockout utility. And again, a very easy way of getting your report output from standard print at column type statements, replacing those by outputting them into a vector, and then passing those into the Dockout format and giving us a plethora of output choices, amongst them PDF. And finally, we've looked at a practical product add-on software. We've seen how it's utilized Barista's capability for Dockout, but it's added to it the usage of BBJ form to create replacements for pre-printed forms, and also it's taken advantage of the BB Jasper utility to output iReport design forms. So, before we go on to your questions, let's talk about the next Java break. In two weeks' time, December 1, we'll look at the benefits of the better B commerce. Same time, same place, and the topic will cover, amongst others, aspects of how our B commerce application delivers online order entry capability and also how we've made this work in our new browser user interface deployment choice. So let's take your questions.